Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example in which we will use push buttons to control the heater. So let's look at the example first. Example 26. When switch 1 and switch 2 or switch 3 and switch 4 are turned on, and then turned off, then heater will be on. When switch 5 and switch 6 or switch 7 and switch 8 are turned on and then turned off, then heater will be off. So, we will connect switch 1 and switch 2 in series and switch 3 and switch 4 in series in parallel with switch 1 and switch 2. And similarly, we will connect switch 5 and switch 6 in series and switch 7 and switch 8 in series and in parallel with switch 5 and switch 6. We will also use some memory bits to control the heater. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. So, let's move to Eco Structure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram and use latching memory bits and implement uh, some gates like or and i will open eco structure machine expert basic i will keep read protection and write protection as inactive and then click on apply then i will go to configuration tab so here is a list of different logic controllers. I will select DM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? You may lose some features and associated configurations. Yes. And then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram to control the heater. So I will click on this option for a full screen mode and then zoom into it like this. So, firstly, I will insert four normally open contacts, two in series and two in parallel. And then I will insert a coil here. Then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So, I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as switch 1. Yes, and then I 0 0.1 and I will assign address to it as sorry symbol as switch 2. Yes, and then I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0 0.2. I will also add symbol to it as switch 3. Yes, and then I will assign address to this contact as I. 0 0.3 and I will also add symbol to it as switch 4. Yes. And then I will assign address to the coil as M0 which is a memory bit. So when switch 1 and switch 2 or when switch 3 and switch 4 are on then M0 will be true. And we will use this memory bit M0 to turn on the heater. So I will insert a normally open contact and a coil here. So I will assign address to this normally open contact as M0. And then I will assign address to this coil as Q0.0. I will also add symbol to it as heater. Yes. So we need to latch it here. So I will insert one more normally open contact here. And I will assign address to this normally open contact same as heater that is Q 0.0. .0. Then I will click on this option and then draw a line like this. So when switch 1 and switch 2 or switch 3 and switch 4 are turned on, 
then m0 will be on and when m0 will be true heater will be on and then when these two switches or these two switches are turned off then m0 will be off but when m0 will be off as we have done latching here heater will still remain on so to turn off the heater we will use switch 5 switch 6 switch 7 and switch 8 so i will add a new rung here and then i will insert four normally open contacts I will assign address to this normally open contact as I 0.4 I 0.5 I 0.6 and I 0.7 so I will add symbol to this normally open contact as switch 5 yes then switch 6 yes then switch 7 yes and then switch 8 yes then I will insert a coil here and then I will connect it like this. So I will assign address to this coil as M1. So when switch 5 and switch 6 or switch 7 or su and switch 8 will be on, then M1 will be on. And we will use this memory bit to turn off the heater. So here I will insert a normally closed contact. And I will assign address to it as M1. So when switch 1 or and switch 2 or switch 3 and switch 4 are turned on and then turned off, heater will be on. And then when switch 5 and switch 6 or switch 7 and switch 8 will be turned on and then turned off, heater will be off. So I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning a launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I will go to programming and click on full screen mode. So firstly, when I turn on switch 1 and switch 2 and then turn it off, heater will be on. And then when I turn on switch 5 and switch 6, then heater will be off. Or if I turn on switch 3 and switch 4, heater will be on and I will turn it off then also heater will be on and then when I turn on switch 6 and switch 7 and switch 8 then heater will be off. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.